Pixar just released a new Toy Story 4 trailer after the Super Bowl, and despite the fact that it's late at night in the west coast where I live, I am going to analyze it for you all. Because, for lack of a better term, it's extremely intriguing, and despite its short length and comedic value, it pulls a lot of the threads Pixar has given us together, to the point where I can briefly solve the plot of the film months before its release. Hello, I'm The Theorizer, and back in November when they released the trailer with the sentient fork in it, I did a similar, very quick analysis which I'll link in the box in the top right corner now, and in it, I discussed basically how all of the toys are powered by the life of children, and how, in the end, there's a chance that they'll all, well, die. Since then, Pixar's released more info on both Bo Peep and the circus. Bo Peep, I'm assuming, had disappeared to the circus, and the gang will find out that old toys often end up here. Aside from the trailer I'll be analyzing in 15 seconds, we also got a trailer a while back showcasing a couple of winnable toys from a prize area. They have quite complete personalities and are well-rounded, likely from spending so much time around circus culture and the people there. And while I still think they might reveal how toys get life in this movie, now's the time for the Super Bowl trailer analysis. Here we go. So there's not really much to analyze, or so you may think. It starts off with a large view of this new circus, which Woody states is something he hasn't seen before. It appears as though this circus is located outside of a mall or a shopping area, then again that could just be a part of the circus, rather than the circus being a part of that. What makes it really intriguing is that Bo Peep asks if Buzz was going to meet them there, implying that not only was Buzz separated from them, but that Bo Peep herself has not been at the circus this whole time. She is wearing a cape though, which sort of hints towards her being an adventurous individual who's been on a few journeys in the past several years. It still appears to take place in California though. And this all could be wrong, this is just the trailer's own logic and how it's presented. We see the little silly plush toys and they mess with Buzz before being light-yeared by his helmet. That's it. But the trailer reveals so much more in its context. First of all, the booth where this and the previous teaser takes place gives off a space theme, which is consistent with Pizza Planet from the first film, bringing the series in a full circle. Secondly, from the plot outline released a while back, we know that Woody is lost by Bonnie on her road trip, meaning this takes place somewhere not in the Tri-County area which is the name of the Californian area the other films also take place. I've made several videos theorizing that Up and Inside Out are also related to this area heavily. Thirdly, the plot outline also says that the least of Woody's worries is his vastly different life from Bo Peep. This implies, of course, that an extremely dark, plot-twisting hidden threat arises at the circus. Initially, I was going to say that the twist was something absurd, like the funny plush guys being evil, but then in this trailer, Pixar made them a bit antagonistic, so I guarantee they won't be the true villains. Unless Pixar's pulling another bout of double-reverse psychology like they've done in the past many times. Again, you could see my 10-minute video analyzing a tweet from one of the creators. But Pixar is known for its similar twist villains, especially in this series of movies. So as you can see, there's always something fresh to analyze, and we know more and more from even short clips like this. We still have questions though, like why Bo Peep left. Given the context of her adventurousness and the plot synopsis, it was very likely that she left to find adventure, and that will be the crux of this film and her relationship with Woody. I bet he'll leave with Bo Peep in the end, hence the sad ending Pixar's been teasing. He'll finally leave all of his friends for adventure. We see other details too. I I even think the guitars from the booth might be references to Pixar's Coco, which has their design as a crucial plot point. But still, it's just a teaser. This is more of a recap of everything we've gotten since the fork teaser, but I still do think that this fork will have some larger role in either being villainous or extremely important. So much is revealed between the lines. But I can't do too much here, this is just a brief trailer analysis. I will be making future theories on this very soon, and in March, you'll want to be subscribed for the absolutely crazy theory I've created tying Finding Nemo to Toy Story, Inside Out, Ratatouille, and up. 
So that's that. Quite a full analysis of full theory Bo Peep solved, and I'm so excited to make theories on Toy Story 4 in the several months to come. So make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell below if you want to be updated when I come back to this because this Toy Story is shaping up to be one of the most detailed ones yet. I also recently started a Patreon account, which is basically where you can optionally pledge a couple dollars a month to see all of my videos incredibly far in advance. And I also give shout outs and soon also discounted Theorizer merch. You get the idea. I'll link it in my outro. It's completely optional, but it's all pretty interesting. The merch is oddly crappy and the Patreon is interesting. So until next time, thanks for indulging in this very integral to the future analysis. I'm the Theorizer. Theorizer.